All right, I think yeah. we are recording. Let me hit this, this on that. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Thank everyone for joining us today. We are super excited to announce the new Magnet Weekly CTF Challenge, uh, where we're going to be running through uh, this through the next quarter. Uh, with us today, uh, obviously, I'm Trey Amick. Uh, we have Jessica Hyde, we have Tara Melton, and last but certainly not least, our founder, Jad. So thank you all for joining me today as well. How's thanks everybody doing us. this morning? Good to be here. Hey, thanks, Trey. Yeah. Happy Monday, everybody. Yeah, happy yeah. Monday. So. What we're shooting for with this challenge is a lot of times with CTFs, uh, you're really going to be uh, narrowed in on working that CTF, you know, for you know several hours at a time, and you know, or days at a time, and that's definitely not feasible, you know, over the long uh, grand scheme of things. So that being said, this idea is we'll issue one challenge a week, uh, each week, and with that shouldn't be too too hard for you to you know work through it uh and kind of go from there and really the the idea for this show came uh, about after i attended the dfwrs uh forensics uh rodeo um you know and competed in that uh, a few months ago and uh it was a humbling experience to say the least uh <laughs> definitely some topics that i hadn't really done much research on uh for quite some time so that being said kind of got me thinking like how could i stay more current and uh keep up with some of the the challenges and the different types of forensics that uh we have going on here and you know what could we bring back to the community so with that now we have the magnet weekly ctf uh so that being said, we're kicking it off this morning. We're going to be issuing out that first challenge here in just a little bit. Uh, actually, that's why we have Jad joining us today. It's actually going to be his question. Uh, so we're starting off with a bang. Uh, but with that, I'm going to turn it over to Tara, and Tara's going to walk on how the CTF is going to work. Sure. So like you said, um, each Monday we'll, we'll be releasing a, a new question for everybody. And the, the uh, point value for these questions are going to be um, based on the complexity of how hard the questions are. So basically, it's probably going to be 10 to 75 points based on how difficult the question is. But the, we also have additional ways that you can earn points. So we want to encourage you to blog about the solve that you that you have. That's going to be worth 25 points. And then we also encourage you to try to, to create a custom artifact for uh, whatever the challenge is as well, which is going to be 50 points. Um, we want you to join the Magnet Forensics Discord server. Uh, that's going to be worth uh, 10 points if you participate in that. And then also if you tag us on social media with the hashtag Magnet Weekly CTF, that's going to be worth five points. Um, so with that, we want to allow everyone a fair chance to answer each question without taking hints from others. But like I said, we do want you to have the opportunity to blog about your methodology and how you got to your answer so that you can earn points that way as well. So basically the timeline for each question is going to be like this. So each Monday, like Trey said, we're going to post a new question with this with a uh, with this uh, little session that we have going on here. And from then, you'll have a week to work that question and submit your answer and earn points. And then after that week, that question is going to be closed. So no more submissions are going to be allowed. And then um, a new one's going to be introduced that, that next Monday too. However, we're not going to reveal the answer to that question just yet. You're still going to have one more week after the question closes to blog about that answer before we, re we reveal the answer the following week. So that way, no one can read your blog and submit their answer from your work without actually working the question themselves. So basically, in a nutshell, there's going to be a new question every week, but the life cycle of each question is really going to be two weeks to allow for a chance to earn points both ways. I so hopefully really love this, um, the way that this is scheduled and done, because typically when we do CTFs, like we all love digging into them and the reasons so we can get that learning and immersion, but we usually wind up obsessing. I don't know about how yeah. many others <laughs> listening have done this, but many of us have worked all night on CTF problems, uh, called out of work to work on CTF problems. I know you've <laughs> been there. I know people who have done it and really just focused because you're so immersed. What's great is we're having a piece of evidence that may last a couple of weeks for the challenge, but you'll get to answer one question, solve it, and be thorough in it. And I'm really excited about the blog posts and people maybe sharing, maybe starting their blog for the first time, maybe submitting if these are artifacts that haven't been done before to DFI or review afterwards. Mm -hmm. I just am really excited about reading and seeing how other people solve things because even though Magnet or whoever developed the, the original question will be sharing their solution, like Jad will two weeks after this release, other people in the community are going to solve things so many different ways. We saw that in the write-ups from the uh, Magnet Virtual Summit CTF, where we had five people write up how they did their solves and completely different. So I'm psyched to see how other people answer these questions. 
Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And that's uh, part of that is obviously you can write your own scripts. You can, you know, build artifacts for Axiom, but obviously as any CTF, you can use any tool you want. Um, that being said, if you do want a trial of Axiom, definitely reach out to us on the Discord channel and, uh, you know, we'll coordinate and work with you on that uh, as well. But obviously it's going to be a toolbox approach, uh, you know, and Jess just mentioned it. Uh, we're going to have different examiners from Magnet writing these different questions. So uh, this month we're going to have uh, my Myself, uh, Jad, uh, Jess, I believe you and Tara yep. are both doing one as well for October. Yep. Uh, next month, we're going to actually have a whole other set of examiners writing questions, and we'll be changing up that image. Uh, so this first uh, month will actually be off an Android image, which uh, is actually going to be linked in the blog uh, that we have on our website that we've been uh, tweeting about. So definitely make sure you check that out and go ahead and download and process that in your tool of choice. Uh, we'll also post the link uh, in Discord as well so that uh, you can pull it down from there, uh, but essentially we'll use that same image for the next uh, few weeks so that you don't have to download a new image every week on top of, you know, working your your normal job and everything else you're doing. So we're going to buy life uh, in that direction as well. Uh, so super excited, uh, you know, your points values are actually going to be cumulative over this entire course of this quarter. Uh, we're going to be issuing out uh, random challenges and random prizes as well. We might even throw in an additional challenge actually on the CTF website, um, or we might just post a question on social media, um, you know, or actually on one of these videos and see who the first person that chimes in on the Discord uh, will get, you know, some bonus points uh, of some sort. Um, but that being said, we'll have uh, a monthly winner. Uh, and we'll also have a grand prize winner as well. So we're going to be offering out a lot of prizes. Um, and just because you might win one month, maybe, you know, the next month you get tied up, somebody that still gives somebody else the opportunity to kind of pass you uh, pass you by. So, or maybe you're tied up one week and you hop back into it. You're not completely out of it if you've only missed one week. So trying to give everybody as much opportunity to, you know, build upon their skill sets as they want. Um, like I said this week or this month is Android. Uh, next month, you know, we, we might do an iOS, we might do a computer, we might do network. You never know which direction we're going to go uh, with that as well. So uh, definitely stay tuned uh, for that, and uh, we'll definitely keep you all updated uh, with that. Now, for the first challenge of this event uh, is actually not even going to be the uh, Jad's question. It's actually going to be uh, the first person who can answer the question on the Discord channel. And uh, that, that question is going to be, uh, Jad, this is for you. Uh, what's your favorite mixed drink? Yeah, and I was just thinking now, I actually have two favorites, so I don't, do I have to just pick <laughs> one? Or no, stick with one for that? Just pick one. <laughs> just pick one. <laughs> All right, you want me to say it here? Yep, yep. All right, right now, okay. Uh, so gin and tonic, um, but with a cucumber garnish. Ooh, All right, so ooh, there you go. Good. <laughs> <laughs> if only it wasn't 11 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's noon somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> so first challenge question, what's Jad's favorite mixed drink? And you have to include the garnish. Uh, make sure you head over to Discord and the first person to answer this question uh, will get uh, some bonus points awarded uh, as well as we will go ahead and uh, send you a uh, little piece of swag as well. Um, so that being said, thank you, uh, Jad, for that. I'm, I'm excited about that. Uh, as you know, we're going to heavily rely on our uh, Magnet Forensics Discord uh, server that we stood up um, not about a month ago now um, when we were doing the virtually together event. So we're going to have a lot of updates there with the CTF uh, channel that's there as well as on social media. So make sure you're kind of following all of us because we'll be posting, uh, you know, questions and thoughts there as well. Um, and with that, you know, the big part of this is we're wanting to keep people's, you know, thoughts and, you know, what they're doing in forensics sharp. Because obviously, you know, when I was doing law enforcement cases, I was working really pretty specific types of cases day in and day out. And then when I went to corporate forensics, same thing. I was doing basically the same skill sets day in and day out. With this, I want to do something a little bit different on some of these. Um, so that being said, you know, we're, we're looking at different ways of how examiners can kind of utilize their skills outside of just their core jobs. Uh, and, you know, with that, uh, I believe Jed and Jess, y'all are going to be talking next week on Cash Up. Is that right? Uh, we're talking tomorrow. So, oh, yeah, that's tomorrow. Uh, yeah. So Jed and I are actually going to be talking tomorrow at the same time on Cash Up. And uh, we're going to be talking about all kinds of things, not only the CTF and whatever question he's going to show, but also we'll be talking about uh, Oxterra, some of the great free things that Jad's built and whatever else 
Jad wants to talk about, and hopefully we'll get a little bit about the uh, superhero origin story from Jad. Uh, and no superheroes. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I feel like every time we get everybody's origin story, it's it's like how they got their cape. That's <laughs> my my opinion oh, of I'm all the red skaters. <laughs> I'm tuning um, in for that. cape, so. <laughs> <laughs> so please don't send any capes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> With a big M on the back. Oh yeah. yeah. That could be a good swag prize. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing that all these conferences are virtual now. <laughs> That is amazing. And my uh, goal, so, well, oh, I yeah, actually cool. have a goal. Uh, and hopefully uh, my goal is to kind of elicit maybe a hint for the CTF from Jad tomorrow during our conversation. So uh, okay. if you stay tuned, maybe uh, maybe it'll help you with this first CTF question. <laughs> there you go. So yeah, make sure you join uh, tomorrow's uh, cash up then to get your uh, little Easter egg, if you will. Uh, not mm -hmm. to mention maybe a cape story. I mean, <laughs> who knows? Uh, I'm excited about that. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, and that's, uh, you know, we announced uh, this project uh, now, what, about a month ago when I was on cash up uh, and, you know, super excited about that as well. So. Um, you mentioned Oxterra, you know, and that's, you know, kind of the broad spectrum of what we're doing here as far as keeping your skills sharp, doing stuff outside of your core job. I know y'all are going to be talking about that tomorrow, but Jed, do you want to kind of give just a super high level of what Oxterra is for everybody? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'll try not to give up, give away too much because uh, I don't want to run out of things to say tomorrow, but. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Won't happen. Won't happen. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, yeah. Oxter I'm really excited about Oxterra and it's, um, um, it's, it's a made up. It's a made up word. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll save that for tomorrow. But um, really what we're trying to do is it, the, the essence of it at a high level is, is take people that are passionate about um, helping and happen to have the skills, uh, the digital forensic skills and experience and, and want to help organizations that need their help. And we're just trying to facilitate that. So i um, pretty excited to see what uh, what we can do there. Awesome. Hashtag DFIR for good. Mm -hmm. There we go. I yeah, that. I like that. I'm definitely, uh, I'll be a part of that for sure. So that is awesome. Um, that being said, these uh, weekly videos are going to be fairly short. So Jess, if you will, will you throw up that slide that you created for us? And this slide is going to be joining us on Discord. So go ahead and use your phone, hold up the camera, let the camera pull you over to the Discord. If you haven't signed up yet, you can go ahead and essentially you'll just put in some information about yourself and then we'll get you added in so you can uh, join the discussion there. So we have that uh, going for you now as well. Um, we also have, like I said, on our website, we have the uh, Magnet Weekly CTF Challenge blog that's going to be right at the top of our blog. So make sure you check that out. And the, the website is just going to be the magnetweeklyctf.ctfd.io. So, uh, but we'll have that posted and all these different locations. It's all over social media as well. So uh, you'll definitely be able to follow in uh, along from there. Uh, anything left, Jess, uh, Jad, Tara, before we have uh, the question revealed for week one? No, I'm, I'm excited to see what the question questions. is. <laughs> All right. So with that, Jad, if you want to read off the first sure. question and we will get it unlocked on the website. And uh, good luck, everyone. We'll see you next week as well. All right. Um, really quickly, though, before uh, I reveal it, um, just want to say thanks to everyone for for putting this together and, and the time it takes, um, I think, to to you know generate these uh, the CTFs. I um, I've never been part of that and and kind of just having to do one question was kind of intimidating and, and humbling. So um, thanks for all the time you guys put into it and and others that have put together CTFs uh, for, for your time. And thanks, Tara, for helping me through. Um, first question was a little too easy. I, I'd say this one's got to be at least worth 75 points, right? It's, no. it's, 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 <laughs> yeah, it's like, that seems too right. good. It just, it just was too good of a tool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, all right, so the question is, what time was the file that maps names to IPs recently accessed? There you go. So what time was the file that was that maps names to IPs recently accessed? That's awesome. And with that, you will see when you log on to the CTF website uh, under challenges, you'll have week one challenge. Uh, make sure you put your answer in. And uh, yeah, with that, we will uh, have a video next Monday. Um, issuing the second challenge uh, and with that we will also talk about the winner of the trivia question as well which i've already got a trivia question for next week ready to go too so uh, mm -hmm. excited about that uh, but with that thank you all for joining us thank everyone for participating and uh, we will be in touch soon thank you all
Thanks. Thanks, yeah. everybody. Bye, thanks. <laughs>